In this lesson, we're going to be talking about steganography. Steganography sounds a little bit like dinosaurs, I guess, but what steganography is, is about hiding information. So steganography is a word that is Greek in origin, and it comes from two different words, steganos, which means hidden, and graphy, which is writing. So steganography is really sort of hidden writing or other sorts of information that's hidden. Now, anytime I think of steganography, I actually think of the movie Yellowbeard. And the reason I think of that is you can kind of see it in this picture here where Yellowbeard is a pirate and he tattooed a map to his treasure on his son's head when his son was born. And as his son got older, of course, hair grew to cover it. So this map was hidden by his hair, and the only way to get to the map was to cut the hair off. So I always think of the movie Yellowbeard when I think of steganography, because that's a good example of hiding information. In this case, you tattoo it on somebody's head, the hair grows in over the top of it, you can't see it until you've actually removed the hair. Invisible ink is another good example of steganography. Let me give you another example of steganography here. Now, this doesn't seem much like steganography, except that if you do this, if I underline the initial letters of each line here, and it's not a particularly interesting message, but you can see the initial letter of each line reads hi you so i've got all of this other text but there's actually another message that's hidden inside of it hidden if you know unless you know where the message actually is so that's another example of steganography now steganography is actually used in today's digital age more commonly with hiding information inside things like pictures or image files. So a JPEG, for example, you may store a text file inside of it, or you may just store text itself inside of this JPEG. You may store information inside of an MP3, sometimes inside of a Word document. And there are a number of techniques for how to go about storing this information. Sometimes it has to do with hiding the information in spaces in the file where the information isn't used very often. Sometimes it has to do with a particular data format may use seven bits, and so the eighth bit is available for storing information. Sometimes you've got a lot of metadata in a file. For example, in a Microsoft Word document, there is a lot of metadata, and you may be able to store information inside the metadata without affecting how the Word document is actually displayed or handled, but the information is still there inside the meta information inside the document. So there's a lot of different ways of doing steganography, and in other lessons, we'll go through some of the tactics and techniques for not only how to do steganography and hide messages, but also how you may go about detecting the use of steganography in certain types of files.